So you want to know how to stay focused as an international student in Canada. I'm going to give you a piece of advice that, you know, a lot of people may not have told you before, but it's kind of counterintuitive, but it'll help you because I understand the work ethic that a lot of international students have. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I make videos every single day for international students, sometimes hitting 10 to 15 videos a day, and I do it absolutely free. So I really appreciate your subscription because I'm really trying to build a, a community here, a family. So basically, as an international student, you want to stay focused and you notice, hey, I have such hard work ethic. I decided I'd come to Canada. I know what you're like. You decided that you would come to Canada because you have that work ethic. You have that drive. So why? Do so many international students get discouraged and lose motivation? Well, the reason is a few things. A, repetition. You're doing the same thing all the time every single day. You ha had ideals about what Canada or the U.S. would be like before you moved there. And once you moved there, let's say you came here to Canada, you're like, hey, you know what? Things are starting to become the same. Homesickness sets in. What's new in the city sets in. What can I do sets in. And then you stop working because you kind of, you know, retract a little bit. So my best tip to counter this is to find friends. In September and October, it's the most important months in school to find friends because when the winter hits, people either stay inside or they go, you know, out with their friends to restaurants or bars or they they tend not to be making new friends actively. Frosh week is going to be your friend if you're a first year student. Um, otherwise, what I recommend doing is joining clubs. Joining clubs is a fantastic way to meet new people. Uh, local radio stations will allow you to have your own show if you have a university campus radio station. These are so many fantastic ways to make friends and also to make friends with other people in the community. For example, I use my radio show in Halifax effects, which any student can get, by the way, at so many universities in Canada. I used my radio show to meet adults, and I made friends with adults, and that was really cool. And I also made friends with students that I brought on the show. Uh, so that was one way that I was able to get out into the community. I got emails, and it was really fun. So that's one thing I definitely recommend you do, get involved in those extracurriculars. Uh, try to meet as many people as possible, and use your passions to find other people. For example, YouTube is the reason why I have a new roommate this year. My roommate actually found me, and he might be watching this right now, found me through YouTube. Um, I think it was word of mouth, like a friend of mine told him and then he looked me up on YouTube, but he recognized me. And that day he came to my apartment and I said, I'm looking for a new roommate next year and bam, I had a new roommate. So it's that simple. Really honestly get involved in your community and that's how you stay focused. It sounds silly. Like you wanna be focused, but you, I'm telling you to do everything but focus. No, no, you have to have balance. Think of this rule called the 20 mile march. If you were to move 20 miles every single day to reach, I don't know, the Arctic, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, you know, 140 miles after seven days. But if you did 50 in the first day and you did zero on the second day and you did 20 on the third day and you did, you know, you can't do that. You have a consistent approach to everything. Your schoolwork, your friendships, your business is the best way to go at it. You have to have the right amount of fun. And I know there are people out there like Elon Musk who just work forever, but trust me, he has other things that actually keep him going. Okay. Whether it's the cup of coffee or it's his 200 assistants. So he never really gets lonely, although he's working that much. Or, um, you know, when he first started at zip two, he had a team, I think Kimball or whoever the, whoever was working with him was with him it's much different when you're a student sitting in a dark room with barely any food and no one's giving you $28,000 you know uh, loan to get an office and you don't have any friends it's much much different to establish that work ethic so I understand it get that foundation and then you can start you know working as hard as you possibly can as an international student sticking your heads in your books like I get it and that's a good thing to do because you want especially engineering doctorate degrees it, huge huge, but understand that you need that balance. Having that balance and using 20 mile march method that I've given you will help you to limit distractions when you're actually working because you're going to be more fulfilled in life. So that's what I recommend you do. Obviously there are other things using a bullet journaling system or a daily task scheduling system that works perfectly catered to you. You have to find something you can do every single day. If you've messed it up for one day, it probably isn't the system for you. Find something that actually helps you organize every day. Cross those items off a to-do list if you have to. Having that you know, concrete things like that will help you. But overarching concept, be fulfilled in your life and you'll get less distracted.